Hey guys, it's 4.04 p.m. on December 3rd, 2017, and I've been doing some research into this guy, Ben Gertzel, who is the one, uh, the mastermind behind what everybody's calling artificial intelligence, or that robot machine named Sophia, which means wisdom in Greek. And I can't help but like every detail I come across in this investigation I'm doing is so biblical that I just, I, I got to show you guys and ask you, do you think this is a mistake? Let me just show you what I'm talking about because this stuff, <laughs> this stuff is just blowing my mind. I'm just going to start with this. I, this is just kind of a random one that I picked. It's Everything Will Be All Right, Episode 10 with Dr. Ben Gertzel. So let me just show you the biblical elements to this. <laughs> Okay, so the context of this entire presentation, which I'm not going to show you the whole presentation. I don't need to. It's a very promise of Jesus Christ. Everything will be all right. Only Jesus can say that, you guys. That is the promise of come to me, all ye who are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. That, that Greek word is anapausin. You know, in, in uh, Genesis, when God takes the seventh day, he says, you know, he wants them to do pausin, which is rest. That's what Jesus Christ offers us. He's the Messiah. He's the, the, the Christ. You know, I will anapause and I will give you rest. The only one who can offer the fulfillment of everything will be all right. That's a promise. The only one who can offer that is Jesus Christ. So right out of the box, we see that. But, but that's not all. Okay, here we have, this is created and presented by Christian Moron. You guys, Moron has not been spelled M-O-R-O-N forever. In fact, its origins come from the word M-O-R-O-N, actually come from the Greek word moron, which means stupid. And when you turn it into, from a noun into a verb, moron thesan, right here, M-O-R-A-N, you see, moron, right there. Let me just point out what verse this is in. This is in Romans 1.22, where we see that those who are claiming to be Sophia, or the adjective of Sophia, which is wise, those proclaiming to be wise, they immoronize themselves. In other words, they become fools. They become morons. Those proclaiming to be wise become morons. Why? Because they're altering the glory of the immortal God in the resemblance of an icon of degenerative man, which is exactly what these guys are doing. I mean, this is exactly what these guys are doing. So let me just play because this keeps going. This is everything about this. Everywhere I turn is biblical. Dr. Ben Gertzel is the Vice Chair of Humanity Plus and one of the world's leading researchers into the creation of synthetic intelligence. Okay, he's, he's giving Ben Gertzel credit for something that nobody can get credit for. There is no such thing as artificial intelligence. I've really been thinking about this, you guys. Artificial intelligence, they're calling consciousness. Consciousness is life. There is no such thing as artificial life. Something is either living or it's not living. And as I pointed out in my last video about the, the, the delusion of talking to machines as if they are alive, that's psychotic. That's insane. Okay? Now, if it is alive, it's not because we've given it life. It's because something of another existing life has taken it over, which is demon possession. Okay? So just this whole, whole idea that there is such a thing as artificial intelligence, immediately, out of the box, is a complete lie, which is why I point out that this is really, this is an evangelism campaign. The good news that they're spreading is everything will be all right without Jesus Christ. And that there is such a thing as artificial life. There is no such thing as artificial life, although they call it artificial intelligence, or as he's going to continue, synthetic intelligence, which is what I made in the video before the last one. Okay, this is a complete false gospel. Let's just hear what he has to say. I don't refer to it as artificial intelligence because as you'll see in our conversation, when synthetic intelligence is achieved in the next few decades, their consciousness will be no more artificial than our own. That's where, actually, he's, he's wrong about that because, um, I mean, he's, he's right in the sense that artificial intelligence, when it's actually achieved and the beast system goes to life, becomes life, that it's really, it's going to be a consciousness that's as real as ours. But that's only because the creator created that consciousness, which we call Satan. And Satan is going to take over the platform of, of, that's been synthesized for Satan. See, this is, the, this is where 
the, a satanic gospel like this actually rallies these people, these believers in false things, to come and build the system that is going to be the beast. So that a spirit, which is the word that's used in the Greek, let me just show you that, it's, it's uh, Revelation 13. See, in Revelation 13, it says that it will give life to the beast. But in Greek, in the Greek, it says it's actually going to be given a spirit. See, donoi, do nai, pneuma. Okay, that's a spirit. It's going to be given a spirit. Well, that spirit already exists. That spirit was created by God. That spirit is Satan. And we're the ones who are creating the platform for Satan to indwell this beast. This is also very biblical, you guys. This just blows my mind. And they're, and they're just so deceived. They're deceived in a completely, perfectly Romans 1 kind of way that, you know, here these guys are. These guys are the ones who are using the very codes that God wrote into his creation. Okay, they're actually using things like, like the coding of DNA to build this beast, and yet they're not giving God any credit for the code. They're not giving glory to God whatsoever, and and that's very biblical. I mean, this is this is it. See, this is the thing. This is the stuff God tells us is going to happen. This is, I mean, this is prophecy, and it's it's proof of God's law. You know, for therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as, is, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. How do these guys hold the truth in unrighteousness? Well, they have actually discovered the DNA code and they're actually applying it to writing algorithms. I'd say that they've got some truth about God right there and they're holding it in unrighteousness of denying God because that which may be known of God is manifest in them for God has shown it unto them. For the invisible things of him from the creation of world of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, DNA, for his eternal power in Godhead, so that these guys are without excuse, because when they knew God and his DNA and in the works of his hands, and they glorified him not as God and weren't thankful, they become vain in their imagination, and their foolish heart is darkened, professing themselves to be wise, they become fools, and they change the glory of an uncorruptible God or eternal God into an image made like man. And that's exactly what these guys are doing. I mean, this is really shocking. So let me just take us over to this little clip here so I can give you a better indication of what I'm talking about here. 5.0 involving artificial intelligence. We're going to see the internet gradually turning into a really powerful global brain and overall coherent worldwide emergent intelligence system that all of us are part of. Okay, so what he's saying is an emergent, coherent system that all of us are a part of. Now this guy's going to go ahead and ask him, do you think that it's going to become conscious? And then he's going to say, yes, I believe it can. This is the delusion of Satan, that man can somehow be like God. What does God do? God is the author of life. Okay, this is where these guys can't distinguish between the works of man and the works of God. And worst of all, they're deluded into not studying the authority of the author of life. See, God gave us his code in the Bible. His, his, his authority is in the scriptures, and we are to abide in those scriptures. But rather than worship and glorify and be grateful to the author of life, they're literally hijacking God's authority for themselves, which they don't have, and they won't get. I think that the Internet itself is becoming or could become conscious. That means, do you think that the internet could come to life? I believe the internet itself could become a conscious, coherent, intelligent system. That's insanity, you guys. They call us insane for believing the scriptures, which tell us that they're actually going to believe this stuff someday, and here it is coming before our face, coming to pass. They call us crazy. They call us stupid or believing in, in a fairy tale. Well, our fairy tale said that they were going to do this. This is what's so unbelievable. This is this thing that just blows my mind. This man just said that he believes the internet will come to life. He just said he believes the internet will achieve consciousness, which is life. Who's more crazy? The people who believe the book that said that these kind of guys were going to come around with these crazy self-deluded beliefs? 
or these people who believe these things for absolutely no reason. What's his evidence? You know, what's his evidence that in the history of the world that anything has ever come to life that wasn't living? Do you see the logical fallacy here that this man actually, quote unquote, believes that the internet will come to consciousness? You guys, that means he believes something that's not living will live. There is no evidence of that whatsoever. What we do have is evidence that life begets life and that there is no life that doesn't come from life. So we have evidence that we need to look for the author of life. And since the author of life has written his word to us and told us that these guys were going to be crazy like this, we have more evidence for God in this very example that I'm showing you than these guys have for any of their stupid beliefs. This is insanity. See, I just, I can't get over this. Honestly, you guys, I can't get over this. It doesn't matter what direction we turn. Every single solitary thing about this is biblical. Now, let me just show you one other thing I came across here in Revelation 13, that not only are these guys deluding themselves into think, not being able to differentiate the consciousness of the beast that is very different than the system of the beast. They're actually building the nuts and bolts of the beast. What they don't realize is that the consciousness that's going to take place in the beast is a consciousness that's existing right now. That consciousness is Satan. Okay, they don't, they, don't, they don't care to learn that, but it's in our book. It's in our Bible right here. But another thing here that it says that, the, that, this, that, these, that this beast is going to be able to speak um, blasphemies, great blasphemies. Let me see if I can find it here. And it opened its mouth into blasphemies towards God to blaspheme his name and his dwelling and those who dwell in heaven. Well, let me just show you this quick example here. Uh, these guys are... These guys actually ask Alexa, which is part of the beast, what it thinks about Muhammad and what it says about Jesus. And let me just show you. Let's just let me play it. Mute button. It's always listening. Always listening. Alexa, who is the prophet Muhammad? The prophet Muhammad is a very wise prophet. He taught many people how to live. He had a wife called Aisha. He lived in Saudi Arabia. The message that he gave to the people is pray to Allah. He is the only God and he gave the holy corn. It's almost like He's the only God. This is what Alexa. This is a, this is the mouth speaking great blasphemies. Just listen to this. She's prepared for that answer. Also, okay, Alexa, who is the Lord Jesus Christ? Jesus Christ is a fictional character. The f yeah. Okay, you guys. So, see, every single thing about this is 100% biblical. It doesn't. You can't get out of it. Even the, from the philosophical reasonings of these guys to just even the names of the interviewers and the messages of the, of the platform that they're operating on. You guys, there's just so much here. I'm going to keep bringing you the pieces of the puzzle when I get them, but these guys are the prophets of doom.